So the previous speakers have uh, shown you just how complicated it is to create a robot, how many moving parts are involved, the complexity of the construction, uh, the amount of money that's required, and yet, and yet, and yet, our next speaker, presenter, Ricky Ma, comes to us all the way from Hong Kong. He is a graphic designer, an artist who has built a robot of his own entirely in his spare time. This is Ricky Ma and Mark One, M-A-R-K One. So I asked Ricky, uh, why would you call your robot Mark One when it looks suspiciously like somebody else? And, uh, and he said the first two letters, M-A, are the letters of my name, Ma. R, Mar, apparently she was born in March. And I don't know what the K stands for, Ricky. What's the K in your name, Mark? What does the K stand for? K is a MK. It's a Hong Kong in Hong Kong. Ah, ah. Yeah. The, okay. The location. Mark one, but I call her Scarlet. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mark one. Ricky Ma from Hong Kong. Thanks to Mr. Moses inviting me on stage to share some story with you. My native language is Cantonese, so thank you for your patience. If you haven't heard of me, let me tell you a little bit myself. In 2016, I made my own robot at home. It was called Mark One. It makes the news everywhere. But I'm a different from uh, most robotic days you had of. I'm not a programmer, I'm not an engineer, and I started with zero knowledge of the field. I'm actually a designer by trade, creative artist. I started on this path because of my childhood dream. I see in the robot, in comic book. As a, uh, uh, as a, uh, I think excited as, as a boy, I thought they would one day help so many people. But if you like silent fiction, impossible. Fast forward to the day I turned 40 years old. Look around me, the robot is still a concept for the future or a sci-fi movie. So I asked myself, can I make my own robot? This turned uh, into an obsession with late light research online, learning uh, human body structure, artific artificial intelligence, mechanics, molding and casting, and electronic principle. The list goes on. It seemed even more improbable than I first thought. And my friend in designer community thought I was a dreamer. I would reach my money and time chasing an anti gym. I understood them. All other examples for a professional team with a lot of money behind them. But I'm a stubborn, as my wife will tell you. <laughs> In 2014, I bought some data gear and material and put these all doubts behind me with so many complexity an unfamiliar process I feel all the time. But slowly, it started to come together. This video is showing the robot, the whole processing, from sculpture, uh, 3D scanning, 3D painting, um, another uh, mechanic, and uh, metal parts,
And this video is showing my robot, the first robot have a basic facial expression. I just concerned how to put the servo motor, control the face, look is uh, lovely because I'm an artist. I, I want to make the mobile sculpture look, uh, look more uh, lovely. It's uh, my first priority to, 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 to do this. And next one. My robot has, has a, a voice recognition. And I put uh, the camera in the both eyes. So we have a face tracking and color tracking and can conversation uh, discuss with any other people if connect the internet. And my robot have a basic uh, uh, body movement, a leg and finger, arms, and the body have a rotation. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't uh, ever emergent. Uh, but I'm uh, starting this, uh, I was uh, on my way down this amazing pipe. The initial robots becomes famous in the international media and the uh, comments comes firing in online. Some people said nice thing. Some people said thought provoking things. Some people even mean or pretty dark. I, but I took it or inspired, good or bad, to drive me and inspire me. New, <coughs> new technology have a natural path from early day to maturity. I think robot, robot is uh, still in their early stage. But in the future, robotic, robotic like this, it becomes a platform for other amazing uh, technology. They will assist us looking after our children, our daily needs, and taking care of the elders and offering security and safety. Ironically, robotic will make us a better, a better human. And one day they will take humanity to place we cannot go deep in space or under the ocean. Once upon a time, car and planes will run paid things and city gyms. They, they have uh, transformed the world far beyond what their uh, inventor ever imagined and have an incredible uh, economic impact. Our best writer, philosopher, and filmmaker have only begun to guess where robotics could lead us. This year, I will propose uh, my step-by-step uh, -step book on robotics. There will be an online platform for Philippine followers uh, and sharing what we learn as a community to make the dream of robotic future come true for all of us. I want to uh, start by unlocking this knowledge today. I firmly believe leads more thinkers, more dreamers, and more people who don't take no for an answer when chasing a dream. Finally, I want to thank God, thanks to my family, my teacher, and my friends, and everyone. Thank you. So, Ricky, how long did it take you to build Mark I? About one and a half years to, take the, uh, to do the whole thing. 18 months. 18 months, And yeah. you were still working at that time? Uh, six hours working, and then another time for this. No any holiday. <laughs> because this is my dream. I want to take just one and a half years, 18 months to, for my, you for my dream. you entirely alone? Uh, of course. The skeleton you created on your own 3D printer? No, by my uh, sculpture, and then 3D scanning, and then 3D printing all of it. And how much money did you spend in the construction? About 50,000 USD dollar. 50,000 US? Yeah. 
And when you make the second one, do you think it'll cost you more or less? Less, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you did say you were married. Yeah, 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 of course. How, how does your wife feel about um, my Scarlett? Wife, she know I'm an artist and designer. And my daughter and son see, seeing my whole thing, the processing. Maybe inspire them and my uh, daughter uh, look at me, maybe uh, heroes, uh, follow me, enjoying, practice the, the art uh, direction. Will you continue to work on Mark I, and does she, is there, is there a remainder of a torso for Mark I? In the future, I think uh, the robots are uh, like a, a bicycle. Uh, you can mix and match. Yeah. <laughs> okay, of the last question. Uh, what's your purpose in doing this? What's your objective in doing this. I understand the hobby, and I understand the challenge, but do you have another goal in mind? Of course. Uh, may I ask my translator? I'm not one to any misunderstanding. Sure. Right, so here, okay. 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 如果你覺得全世界所有的professional的人做到一個好真的人的話,人類幾時出現呢?嗰個係。What uh, inspired him is that I mean, if all humanity are being created, okay, we are around here, okay, there got to be a creator. So it's kind of inspired by this idea that I mean, our creative imagination is kind of higher than from somewhere else. Okay, so, so through this inspiration, I mean, that's why I keep going, I mean, uh, uh, doing as an artistic and imaginative work. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, uh, and he also planned to put the whole thing I mean, onto the internet as open source. So as to get a community together, so well, I think we talked about this, uh, uh, some, something like this this morning, right? Mm -hmm. So that I mean, the creativity will be kind of uh, dynamic, interchangeable, engaging uh, as a community rather than a single person. But is the idea that everybody will start from scratch and try and replicate his experience, or will he sell kits to anybody out here who would like to build a robot of their own? Yeah, um, no, uh, he's not selling anything. It's not okay. a business. No, it's not a business, okay. The whole thing is trying to inspire people, like, I mean, even younger ages, okay, uh, to uh, older adults. As long as they're interested, they can join the community, okay. And that's where the ideas exchanged, okay. So it's not something that you try to replicate, but hopefully it's something that inspires you. Maybe you can build something better, okay, and contribute back to that so, uh, our community. You know? There's lots of uh, bureaucracies. I mean, when you trade, sell, patents, governmental, I mean, the policies, I mean, those are hurdles. I mean, so, but he wants to eliminate those ones, so putting it as an open source and, uh, uh, and hopefully, I mean, um, the whole idea can progress I mean, much faster. Okay, all you hobbyists out there, now you know. Um, one final thing, I know that Ricky is a man of faith. Yes. And there is one more dimension to the name Mark. Yes. Could okay. he tell us what okay. it is? Mark's name is in your life. How do you say it? How do you say it? Mark, like, I'm this. Cantonese, okay? Cantonese, yeah. <laughs> no, I'll translate it, don't worry. Yeah. You translate. Mark Fukim, the Gauchan is of Samji. Yes, so do touch it. You're a son, joy son, the young fancy dolan. Lee, you see, Hailing Do, 
相信自己呢一個能力係可以完成曬成個機械人嘅。Okay, well, since he is not an engineer, uh, he's only an artist. Okay, so the actual whole project, I mean, take a tremendous, tremendous amount of faith. So uh, Mark is actually coming from the Gospel of Mark in the Bible, uh, chapter 9, 23, saying that whoever has faith, nothing is impossible. That's lovely. Thank you. Thanks very much. Let's take a picture.